For this drawing, I'm going to use a tone paper, a light brown color. I'm going to use the wine shackle, the star, the composition. Let's take a look. I'm going to roughly draw the shape of the face. And I'm going to open my sense of whether or not that is the size and location that I want it. And then I draw the shape for the shoulder, like that. The tone paper, it will serve as the middle tone of your portrait. And I will use the white charcoal to create a highlight. So I'm going to show you. And I think I like this composition, so making sure you open your sense, open your feeling that if you like this before, confirm the closer of the first step. Right? Otherwise, you're going to keep working on it until you're happy. So this is the first step. I'm going to start to do a little measurement. I'm going to use the top over here and the chin over here as, as something that I don't want to change, but I can change the width of the face. Take the height of the face and rotate it, and you can find the width of the face is just a little bit more than half. Take it over here to here, half, what is it? Half is about here. If you're not quite sure this is half, you always can double check. The top half, the lower half, exactly the same. A little bit more, so I'm going to get it down over here. That is just the width of the face. So I'm going to take this part, rotate it. So every single time, you're always feeling that it's supposed to be wider, but you're wrong, right? So I'm going to come over here to say, this is the left, this is the right. Now I'm going to come, this side coming over here, like that. And the middle and coming in a little bit like this. Now this is good. Now we find the width compared to the height. Now let's take a look. And I think his eyes, the eye line is exactly in the middle. So I'm going to draw a little bit in the middle over here, draw the line from the left to the right, like that. So the left eye is about over here. And the right eye is about over here, like that. It's about in this location. And take a look. And on this side, it's about half of the eye, the width. And on this side, it's about three quarter of the eye width. So I'm going to mark it over here. Some people have like exactly the five eyes. But in this case, it's not. So you compare to your sitter, find out what is the relationship. Now, what I want to do, I can see that in the middle between the two eyes, a little bit more than one eye space. So you can find it one, two, three. In the middle over here, I'm going to have a little bit more than one eye, like that. Right over here. Now you can see. His, his left eye is right over here. And his right eye is in this location. You don't want to start from drawing the eye without knowing where are the eyes placed inside the portrait, right? So make sure you know where is it. Now you can spend time into it, but not yet. We need to find other space. Okay, the eyebrows is about here. So you can draw the line over here, there's the eyebrows. There's the eyebrows. Wow, on this side, his eyebrows are a little bit higher. So I'm gonna put up the mark over here. Now it's a special characteristics of his eyebrows. 
Now from here, you can divide it to the chin, divide into half. Uh, from what I see, it's right in the middle, that's the nose. And compare to the width of the gap, and you can find the width of the nose. I have some short lessons on YouTube that is called Portrait Basics, how to find the proportion, like this. I can see that the lower border of the lower lip is actually half from the nose to the chin. Half is right over here. And now I can divide it over here to another half. This is the, the board, the upper of the upper lip. Like that. Now take a look at the corner of the mouth. It's a little bit wider than the corner of the nose. Now we find it right over here. This is how we start the portrait drawing. Like that. Now you find the location of all this and Combine what you already know, how to draw the nose, the mouth, the eye, and you can start and take it from here. And let's see the dividing of the, the shadow side and the light side of the nose. You can find this line. When you try to draw something, you want to focus on that, and you always can find what you're looking for. All right, let's take a look this coming down like this right and then I can see the shadow side over here okay here you go yeah now take a look at the shape of the catch the shadow I can find the little triangle over here like that now here you go Let's fill in the catch the shadow. It's very easy to do. Okay, let's fill in the shape. And over here, on this side of the forehead, a little bit darker. And on the, in this, on the upper eyelid over here, and this is the shadow. I take a look, the hair has come all the way down over right here. There you go. Now you're going to spend a little time to define uh, the edge of the face. Now coming over here, this is about a little bit straight up and then a little curve. And then coming down over here, uh, a little bit slanty angle. And coming down in over here, a little bit higher than the mouth and start make the turn. And come all the way over here. Like that. And you can come over here on this side to double check and fine tune the edge. I'm going to do a little blending and just use my finger. Blend into soften the shadow side. And at this point, you can see everything looks like flat shapes. They're all flat. I'm gonna also have defined the separation and the, of the light side and the shadow side on the neck. And then after we develop the smaller shape, and we can create a more and more dimension. This.
Looks good. Observe, analyze it, and making the decision. And also the lower eyelid over here. I just pull in a little bit over here. And also on the lip over here, I'm gonna blend a little charcoal, charcoal down over here because the local color of the lip is a little bit darker than the skin. Okay. Now as continue, I'm gonna correct the shape a little bit. Use my nitty eraser, I'm gonna remove the unwanted uh, line and shapes up here. Make it shrink it down a little bit more, like that, and make it a little bit lighter. Now gradually, I'm coming into more and more smaller details, which is uh, smaller shapes. Now, this side is very crucial. I'm gonna refine the shape over here. I'm gonna soften this. Lead eraser is very easy to use, and you can very easy to erase it. So, now I'm going to refine the edge. Like that. And also, we need to compare with uh, which part of the shadow is darker. Like uh, in this area, it's much darker than other places in the shadow side. Right? So I'm gonna see this whole area as a little bit darker shape. Inside the shadow, there's some details, there's some smaller shape. I see that up here is a little bit darker than in here and over here, I actually a little bit lighter. They use a clean finger and I can remove uh, some of the value, like that. Very good. Now looking at here, there's some smaller shape uh, on the upper eyelid. Just enjoy your process. You don't need to worry about, I never draw a portrait. I don't know how to do it. No, you can do it. Just, you know how to cut it down to smaller steps and then everyone can do the same. Okay. Now I come take a look at, at the bottom over here. I can see also a little darker area. This is the, actually the nostril. And there's a smaller shape right over here. Right over here. And the bottom a little bit softer. Now here you go, coming to the other side. I'll come back to give a little bit more later. Okay, so that's good. I'm gonna have the edge over here. There's a saw. I'm gonna soften the edge. But on this side, uh, the edge a little bit more sharper, right over here under the lower eyelid. Soften it. All right, take a look at the, the upper lip of the mouth. It's a little bit darker and the lower lip. I'm gonna coming all the way over here. You see that that's the corner of the mouth. And on the other side, the other corner all the way coming over here, like that. And a little transition softly, bend it over. 
Now take a look at the shape under the lower lip. Take a look. When you're looking at something, you need to focus. Focus the size, the angle of the, the border of the shape and take a look at the value inside the shape. Okay, coming down, coming outside, and I can see the, the edge. Okay, now come to the outside over here. I'm gonna take a look. I don't think to make too much a big deal on the outside edge over here. I'm gonna make it a little bit softer, keep it soft. And, and the chin, I need to refine it. Because it's very, the chin's pretty close to us. Okay, here you go. Like that. A little bit soft, land out up here. Like that, looks good. Okay, now I'm going to give it some suggestions to the corner over here. And gradually, it turned into more and more realistic. And the neck over here, and take a look on this side, the neck over here, I'm gonna use a pretty soft, thin line, like this. and have some catch the shadow on the neck. Slow down and have fun. Okay. And enforce a little bit of the shadow side. Some people never use charcoal uh, in their life. And uh, it's not a requirement you have to draw with charcoal. But charcoal is very fun to play with. That. Now I'm gonna come to give a little suggestions over here. Whether or not I'm gonna make it very dark, I may or may not, I'm gonna come over here Connect that and have the catch the shadow like this. And that's the shoulder. And take a look on this side. Give it enough suggestions like that. And the line on the shoulder a little bit lower. I'm gonna give it a little line like this, a simple. Keep it like that. Now I'm gonna come in going into take a look at inside the eye. Okay. Since we already know the location of the eye, now it's pretty easy to coming over here to define enough detail for the eye. Okay, right over here. When you draw a portrait, you don't need to rush into do the details, like the eye over here, the iris. And there's catch the shadow inside the iris here on the upper part and the lower part is a little bit lighter. Yep. And take a look at the upper eyelid. Okay. 
Now I'm going to use my charcoal pencil to help to define the detail. Take a look inside this eye. There you go. There's the pupil in the middle over right here. Observe. Inside the eye vial over here is actually a little bit darker. Okay, here you go. And the corner over here. I'm not gonna use I'm gonna use the need eraser over here, make it a little bit lighter. Shrink that. This eyelid over here a little bit lighter. It's very relaxing, very simple. Okay. Now take a look inside the iris. A little bit darker here, and but I make sure in here, up here, a little bit darker. Now take a look at the corner over here, a little bit darker. There's a triangle over here. Take a look at the corner. And the lower eyelid. Now the lower eyelid is a little bit lighter. So you don't need to make this really dark. Making sure it belongs to the similar value to the same shape. Like that. Now the eye has a lot of details now already. Now I come to the eyebrows. I'm gonna have a, a few lines in here. Make it a little bit darker. That's good. Now I'm going to take a look at a switch back to my wine chuckle. Take a look at the shape over here. And a little shape over here. Draw a little line. Here you go. Like that. Now I'm gonna help to define the edge. I clear the edge, I use my needle eraser. And I'm gonna make this a little bit clean, a little bit sharper. And also in here, coming in a little bit. Like that. So in the drawing, it's not always keep adding and adding and adding more and more dark color. It actually need to pull, need to take out some color to make it lighter. Okay, now I come to the other eye. The places that I want to Set the white charcoal, make sure that paper has no black charcoal before I set the white charcoal. Otherwise, it will look uh, pretty messy. Okay. Now the first thing on the nose here, that's the point. That's the highlight. A little light over here. And also on the cheek over here. A little bit lighter. Like that. And on the eyelid. And on the mouth over here, I'm gonna clean up a little bit over here. Here's my eraser. The first clean the area to be no ch black charcoal first. If that already enough, and then you don't need to use 
the white shackle. And I'm going to set a little bit lighter, like that. Okay, and the upper lip over here is a little bit lighter too. And in this area, it's a little bit lighter. Shirt over here, I want to add a little bit. I'm gonna clean up over here, and then this drawing is finished.